to be getting out of hand if data in the SACO Supervision Annual Report 2020 is anything to go by. The report by the SACO Society's regulatory authority, SASRA, shows that non-remitted funds increased from 3.87 billion shillings in 2019 to 5.04 billion shillings in 2020, with the highest proportion related to employers who make deductions but fail to remit the same for loan repayment. As Betty Kiptum narrates, government institutions, including universities and tertiary colleges, are the key culprits and Osako's 4.08 billion shillings in non-remitted funds. The movement is charting a new way to contain the issue of non-remitted funds from employers that seems to be getting out of hand. The latest SACO Supervision Annual Report shows that non-remitted funds increased 30.2% in 2020 to 5.04 billion shillings. The SACO Society's regulatory authority, SASRA, is now calling on the cooperative movement to rethink the policy, legal and administrative structures aimed at addressing this problem. The report shows that highest proportion of the non-remitted deductions was owed by government agencies at 4.02 billion shillings. This comprises 2.95 billion shillings owed by public universities and colleges and 1.07 billion shillings that national and county government agencies or deposit taking circles. The report indicates that the problem seems to be spreading to the private sector whose share of non-remitted funds nearly doubled to 850 million shillings last year. The report further indicates that employers are increasingly failing to remit loan deductions. SASRA chairman John Munuve says the fact that a huge proportion of the non-remitted deductions owed by various employer institutions are on account of loan repayment deductions is a matter of continued concern to the authority as it undermines the loan performance as well as liquidity within the DT SACO system. Despite this, deposit-taking circles waded through the COVID-19 pandemic to grow by 12.75% in assets to 627.68 billion shillings in 2020. Betty Kiptum, Prime Edition. Now the government...